Hi, welcome back to On The Volley, or as we like to be known, OTV. My name's uh, Matt, I'm here reviewing the uh, international fixtures during this international break, the World Cup qualifiers, um, especially those involving Wales, uh, Scotland and uh, England uh, tonight. Um, I'm going to start with Wales. Uh, they played first, uh, so it seems fitting to start with them. Um, they got a, uh, a good result in Ost Estonia. Um, it wasn't a great game, um, but you know the, the win was important. They needed to keep pace with the Czech Republic. They've kind of left it in their own hands. They've got a really tough uh, last game against Belgium um, at home. Um, they they will probably need to get something out of that game to guarantee uh, second place. Um, the the, you know, the the other the other fixture is again at home against uh, Belarus. Um, um, they, they, I mean, they, they'll need to win that game. They'll definitely need to win that game uh, to have a chance of finish sec finishing second. Um, bar um, Estonia performing a miracle in the Czech Republic on the uh, 16th of November. Um, you know, I watched the game um, against Estonia. A very scrappy game, actually. In, in the first half, um, Estonia were kicking lumps out of uh, Wales. And Wales, Wales, unfortunately, descended into it. Brought it down right to their level. You know, they descended to their level. And uh, we'll kick him up out of Estonia in the second half as well. Um, first half, Estonia didn't, I think, get one yellow card, or maybe they got one, but I didn't, I didn't see it. Um, and second half, there was a flurry of yellow cards for uh, Wales from the Swiss referee. I don't think uh, it was a very balanced uh, refereeing performance, if I'm, if I'm honest, um, in terms of that. And I think maybe that's why Wales descended into that sort of like game. They let Estonia back into the game. Estonia had some chances. But you know, Wales did score early on in that game. They scored in the first half. Uh, you know, a very scrappy goal here to dawn a very uh, done a very scrappy game. Um, it's probably quite befitting, really. That it was a scrappy goal that won it. Um, you know, bit of ping pong in the uh, in the box. Ramsey did really well actually to win two headers. Um, I think the defender got his head in front of the keeper as well, knocked it out of his hands. Um, and then more toe pokes it over the line. You know, it doesn't matter how they go in, it went in. And Wales won that game. They are very much in contention in Group E. And they, you know, they look like they've got a real good chance here to finish second. They have got a backup um, from the Nations League, from their Nations League performance, uh, where they were guaranteed it, they were already guaranteed a qualifying place. But that will probably pit them against some very strong opposition, which. You know there are some very strong teams uh, finishing in second place in the groups, and Wales will want to avoid those really. You know they, if they finish second in the group here, it, which is a tough group. You know they, they play in Belgium. You know we've got Belgium in this group. It's a group of five, which means it was actually one of the higher ranked uh, groups. Um, so so you know they've got they've got if they can get second, they've got a good chance of getting a decent draw. Um, in in a, in a qualifier, I don't think they're going to top the group. It is still mathematically possible, but come on, let's face it. You know it's Belgium, uh, and they're not going to lose both games. Surely, uh, even though one of those is against Wales, or maybe you know who knows? You know it's football. It's football. Anything can happen. Um, so I'm going to move on to Scotland, who have had a fantastic international break. Let's face it. Um, you know, um, you, you know, there's probably. <laughs> Probably aged the Scottish fans about uh, another ten years, you know, um, watching these uh, two games. Um, you know, fantastic result against Israel. Fantastic. They, it would make no bones about it. Israel was Scotland's biggest contenders for second second place uh, before the start before the start of the international fixtures, and they are still now. Um, and you know, to win at home in a game like that, have to go in twice behind as well. I think is absolutely exceptional performance. Real shows real fighting spirit. It's really good to see them do it. Um, you know, last an absolute last minute. I mean, it's a real last minute one. This one, it's a bit 94th or 95th minute. Um, it's only strike. Um, you know, and you know, probably well deserved. You know, uh, sends Handham going absolute bonkers. I think, uh, uh, you know, it's it's a wonderful thing to see when you when your team does something like that. And uh, you know, the, the Tartan Army had a, a great day that night. Uh, great night that sorry that night and um you know it's uh, uh a brilliant i say brilliant brilliant result for them you know i say coming back from uh, twice from being behind to win it uh that late on uh tonight's game against the Faroe Isles well you know that was just always oh, on the cards wasn't it you know a really stodgy performance really um the just didn't get going uh, Scotland really didn't get into the game very much but again a last minute winner 
you know, it doesn't matter when they go in, as long as they go in, uh, you know, this wasn't actually the last minute when it was 86th minute, uh, but it's, uh, you know, it's uh, Leiden uh, Dykes um, scoring again, and he's scored in four consecutive games for Scotland now, um, and, you know, he's dragging them closer and closer to a World Cup qualifying place. It's not guaranteed that they're going to, you know, get into the World Cup, you know, again, in a tough group with Denmark, you know, finished uh, semi-finalists in the Euros. Um, they've won all their games uh, and unfortunately for Scotland, that's their last game. Um, but, you know, being four points uh, clear of Israel, Moldova away, it's one of those games that Scotland have struggled with in the past, you know, when they've had it in their hands and they've they struggle with it, but come on, you know, it's Moldova, they've got one point. You, you, you've got to be able to win this game, uh, you know, and if they win this game, that's it, they're there. They're, a second, they're in a qualif qualification game for the World Cup in Qatar next year. Um, you know, they've really got to do it. Please don't let it, leave it to the last game at home, uh, last game at home against uh, Denmark, uh, you know, a team that's so strong and then needing, you know, maybe a point maybe 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 Austria can do uh, Scotland a favour um, beat, beating Israel um, uh, in in uh, in Vienna um, or Salzburg wherever that game's been played I actually don't know where it's been played but it's been played in Austria that's all I know um, maybe, maybe they if they can uh, get a draw there then Scotland are in a pretty strong position really to be honest aren't they you know it's you know what they need uh, a draw against Moldova uh at maximum to qualify if uh, Israel's uh, drawing not in Austria, so you know they're going. They they're going, They've done all they can at the moment. They've done all they can, um, and they've got themselves into a very strong position. Uh, and fair play to them. Fair play to them. And uh, good luck. Good luck in those two games, Scotland. Good luck. Uh, as 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 for Wales, by the way, as well. Uh, and then moving on to England's group. I mean, England pretty much are through anyway. So I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to talk too long about England. Uh, pretty insipid uh, performance tonight um, in terms of the result, but actually there were some there were some decent decent performances there tonight uh, as well. Hungary played very well actually, um, uh, which they won't be given credit for. It will all be about England uh, and how they failed. Um, but you know they, they've opened the door a little bit there for Poland. Um, the two teams played two very weak teams uh, in the fixture. The, the final fixtures. Um, England in the last game is against San Marino in San Marino. Uh, the next game for Poland is Andorra, um, where they'll probably overturn actually England's goal difference. Um, England playing Albania at home that 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 same night. Um, so you know England really there um, probably need a point to guarantee that they're going to go through. Uh, we're, Bar some ob obscure result in San Marino, you know. Let's face it, you know they've never been ever, ever up to that much. It's usually about how many they're going to concede, rather than if they are. Um, so yeah, I mean, just to finish off with that, really. I mean, I, I didn't think I was going to be talking about England uh, England's qualification prospects tonight. I thought they'd already pretty much through with the game against San Marino coming up. Uh, hungry at home tonight. Um, they haven't. They have. They've under, underperformed in terms of result. I actually don't think they played that bad, to be honest. Uh, the press are going to be all over them, but no, that's a press. Um, so that's all I'm going to, I'm going to conclude with that and um, say good luck to all three, all three teams. Uh, I think especially going to reserve my luck for Wales and Scotland because I think they're going to need a little bit more of it uh, than England. Um, so uh, for me, Matt, that's it. I'm out.